YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from this video's title, I am doing another one of these videos. You guys really seem to like the last one that I did where I answered uh, some of my DMs that I get from you ladies. I get a lot of fitness related questions on my Instagram and all social media and I don't always get to get to them. I get so many throughout the day and I wish I had more time to answer all of them. I do most of the time see them, but it literally breaks my heart that I don't have time to answer all of them. A lot of the questions are very detailed or very like problematic or sophisticated and I really have to pay a lot of mind to them and use a lot of time to really give the best advice so it makes me feel so bad when i don't have enough time to uh, respond to all of you so that's why i'm making this little video segment or a little video series i guess yeah is this a video series i guess uh where i'm answering some of you ladies uh, fitness related questions from my dms yeah. so the first one is from dancy ray dancy ray that should be like a screenshot here or something like that she says hey i just watched your my transformation story on youtube and i need your help this is how most of them actually start uh, you ladies seem to love my transformation video which i'm like so excited about and like so overwhelmed of like appreciation and yeah like it makes me so happy that i am inspiring so many of you out there with my transformation video anyways i have been going to the gym five days a week for about two years and i'm seeing some results but it's slow progress hm, relatable i don't eat properly my diet bounces and i don't know what i should be eating macros calories etc i take some supplements pre, post, and whey protein, but I'm not happy with, happy with my progression. Can you tell me about eating properly? And yes, let's talk about diet, why not? So diet seems to be a thing that a lot of you are struggling with, and I totally get that it is really the most important thing to building a better physique or like getting in shape. You have to get your diet in order to make any progress. But it is actually very simple. It is really all about calories in and calories out. If you are trying to build muscles, uh, you have to be in a caloric surplus. If you're trying to lose body fat, you have to be in a caloric deficit. If you've just started working out like the first year or so you might be able to do both at the same time but once you get more advanced and your body get used to working out and so on you want to do micro cutting and micro bulking to really maximize your results and get the most out of your workouts so since you can't be in a caloric surplus all the time uh, which means that you're building muscles all the time because then you might gain some few pounds and end up getting fat um, that's why we have micro cutting. It helps you stay lean and uh, cut the few extra pounds that you might have gained on your micro bulk. So it's kind of like two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, one step back. So make sure to count your calories. You can still eat your favorite foods. Make sure to eat a lot of green veggies. Try to eat like low fat dairy and low fat meat. Choose brown rice over white rice, whole wheat over white bread and so on if you are cutting. Um, you know, try to like maintain an overall health too when you are cooking. But as I was trying to say, it really doesn't really really matter what you eat you don't have to only eat broccoli and brown rice throughout your whole cut to be able to see results you can still eat some of your favorite foods and snacks and you still need a cheat day too once a week it is just all about calories just make sure you're in a caloric deficit if you're trying to lose body fat and for not to talk about too much about macros because it can be a little of a long talk there's many ways of counting your macronutrients i personally like to do the 30 30 40 ratio for macros so 30 percent fat 30% protein, 40% carbs, but you can also do, I think it is uh, 20, 40, 40, which is 20% fat, 40% carbs, 40% protein. It will take up the whole video if I have to explain in 
way greater detail how to calculate your macros. But what is really the most important thing? Macros are important, but what is the most important thing you have to focus on is calories in and calories out. I will be linking two videos down below about micro bulking and micro cutting. Check them out too and hopefully that will help you answer some of your questions about a diet. Just to sum it up what I just said, I recommend that you do micro bulking, micro cutting, but that is what I do myself and I have been seeing great results with that. Alright, so this next question kind of got me a little mad. I got, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I got a little upset when I was reading this question. I was like, what the heck? What's going on here? She says, hey, my name is Katie, I am 19, and I used to have a perfect body, but it went away and now I look not so great. My boyfriend prefers girls that have more of your body figure with the nice glutes and muscles. I'm trying to get like that again, but one, I don't have the motivation anymore, and two, I don't have enough money to get a gym membership or to buy my own exercise equipment. I'm just trying to get back my nice round booty like I used to have and have a little more muscles. Any tips? First of all, Katie, don't let any guy tell you what you're supposed to look like, okay? You're not put on this earth to please anybody else by yourself, okay? There shouldn't be a guy in this world that should be able to make you feel bad about how you look. If you want to look great, if you want to improve your shape or physique, do it for yourself, not for some other guy, okay? Now when we have that cleared out, let's get uh, to actually questions. Um, if you don't have any motivation anymore, so this is the thing, my motivation comes and goes to like some days I really don't feel like working out, dieting, going to the gym, looking all sweaty, like I get it, I really do. And for many years when I just started working out, it was very much on and off, on and off because I was relying on motivation alone to go to the gym or not, to get stuff done. You cannot rely on motivation. Motivation is BS, okay, BS. Let's just keep it language friendly here. Motivation is no bueno. What you have to rely on to get stuff done is dedication, 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 dedication. You are still going because you rely on your dedication to go whether you feel like it or not. It's like having a job. Alright, cool. I don't always feel like going to work. I don't always feel like doing something. I don't always feel like going to school. I didn't always feel like going to school either. Or I didn't feel like taking this class. But guess what? You still did it, right? Because you wasn't relying on how you felt to get stuff done, you, re you were relying on your dedication. And because you had a goal, you wanted to graduate from school, you're going to work because you want to make money, it's a goal. You have to go to the gym or work out to get that physique that you really want. Think about it as that. Sorry, my camera just got overheated and it turned off on me, but as I just said, once you get that wrapped around in your head and you feel like it is mandatory and you tell yourself you have to do this, you have no other choice or you will never, never get to your goal. That's when you start taking yourself more serious and you start to actually listen to yourself. So yeah, as mentioned, rely on your dedication. Work your dedication, exercise that dedication. It's kind of like a muscle it'll get stronger the more you do it. So the more you feel like not doing anything and doing it, because that's the most important time to actually doing it, when you're not feeling like doing it, that is when you work your dedication and that is when it gets stronger. Katie also said, I don't have enough money to go to the gym or buy your own, her own exercise equipment. So this makes it a little more difficult. As mentioned before, I do really, really recommend and advise your ladies to go to the gym to make the best progress and get the best results. If you cannot go to the gym, then I usually recommend getting fitness equipment at home, adding some resistance to your exercises, 
And if you don't have that, guess what? You can still make games. It will not be the same, I have to be completely honest. It will not be the same as going to the gym. But you must have things at home that you can add on as resistance. You can use a gallon of water, that's pretty heavy. You can do exercises with that or two gallon of water, like one in each hand. You can do split squats, lunges, regular squats. For not to mention, uh, do sprints. Sprints are so freaking good for a total body workout. Sprints are hit cardio. It not only helps burn a ton of calories, but it also helps you build muscles, especially in that booty girl, okay? But I totally get why you don't feel as motivated. Like if I had to work out every single day at home, it would not be the same, but really take the, the advice uh, that I was telling you about about motivation or right, if you can go outside and work out It would be even better like remove yourself Away from your room away from your bed and go outside and do some sort of activities or like Write down your workout program write down the exercises sets and reps like plan plan your workouts and that will also help you keep yourself accountable if you are scheduling or like writing down your workouts i also have a video explaining more about building your booty uh, i will be putting that down below too uh, explaining more about the exercises and so on you should watch that one too that will help you with planning out your own program or exercises you have to do for yourself so last question is from a girl named Nadia. She says, hey, I just have a question I wanted to make. First of all, I am new to your page and I'm already so inspired. Thank you. I have a super flat butt, but I have always given up because I haven't had any program to use. My question is, for how long did you work out your butt from your before picture, saw it on YouTube, to now, and how many times a week. Also, about your glue program, what do I do when I have already done it for five weeks, but want even more? Do I just start it over? I hope you'll see this message sometime, but if you don't have time to answer it, that is totally fine too. Aww. First of all, you seem like such a nice person. So sweet, like what the heck. So Nadia wants to build bigger glutes and don't we all like that? So her question is for how long it took for me uh, to get bigger glutes. She asked specifically about my transformation picture but I think that's a little bit irrelevant. Um, if you really want to know, that is a couple of years apart. I think the one on my transformation video here on YouTube is like one year apart but I have some pictures where it's like years apart to see where I started from like from scratch till now and that took some time and a lot of hard work but it's totally doable you just have to put in the work and stay consistent we also all have different body types I am a ectomorph which means I am very skinny and slim but I also have a little bit of mesmorph in me which if I am not wrong it is when your body are like fast to put on muscles as well because I'm very strong in my upper body like my upper body is so dominant compared to my lower body I don't show it a lot so you guys probably haven't noticed but it really is. That's why I'm mentioning that I'm probably a little bit mesomorph just because I have a bigger upper body than most girls and I don't really train upper body as much. Um, and when I do, I get so pumped, so fast. Anyways, enough about me. Okay, so you also asked about how many times a week I go to the gym. Um, so to keep myself out of the picture, you can make really, really great results in your glutes or whatever body part you want to work out, full body, with just going to the gym three times a week. I normally recommend three to five times a week. I personally go to the gym six times a week, but I've been working out for years and I absolutely enjoy going to the gym. If you don't have time to go to the gym six days a week, 
I understand and you shouldn't be going six days a week if your whole life isn't based on fitness. You can make really great results with just going to the gym three to five times a week by doing the correct exercises and putting in the work, really challenging your body, pushing it every single time, then you will make really great results. Uh, in just a few weeks. So I not only would say that you can start seeing a difference after five weeks, um, but you should really see major results or like a big visible difference after three months. Also girl, make sure to do a lot of compound movements and add isolated exercises at the end of your workout. Um, do some glute uh, activation exercises before your workout, so warm up your glutes and prepare them and really target them in your compound movements. So for not to get too much in detail because I can literally talk about this all day on how to build your glutes bigger, I will be putting two links down below in the description box that you should watch and that will hopefully answer more of your questions about how to build bigger glutes in a nice booty. And to talk about my program, for those who don't know, I have a five week glute focused workout program i highly recommend this to you if you are lost in the gym lost about diet how many calories you have to consume what exercises to do and so on it is the first link in the description if you want to read more about it but yes as you asked about you can do the program as many times as you want there is only so many good exercises out there that is good for you and as long as you add progressive overload to uh, the program, you will keep making progress months after months after months of doing Glorious Glutes, which is the name of my program. So really quick, just to cover what progressive overload is very shortly and way too not detailed. It is basically just that you add more weight on as you get stronger for your body to keep adapting and for your body to keep making progress and growing your muscles bigger and also you can do more sets you can also uh, cut down the time or rest time in between the sets and so on but yeah i really hope that answered uh, all of your questions and you got something out of it let me know if you want more videos like this i think this is such a cool way to really like give the best and most custom advice to you ladies out there. Some of these questions are very frequently asked, uh, some a little more different than others, but, but these answers should really cover up uh, a lot of the questions that you ladies have. Let me know if you have any other questions. DM me for questions if you want. You might uh, end up in a video. Who knows? I don't know if I said this, but let me know if you want me to make more videos like this. And also before you leave, before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you wanna watch more videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye. 3 a.m. I catch myself driving. What a night I must say. But you and your friends still wanna come roll with me.